Update 41 is live. Sublime New Year update. Boy, arrays of high yield missiles or harness the true power of the plutonium core, the monkey sub paragon, Nautic Siege Core. We'll royal the blooms on new intermediate map, Sulphur Springs. Team up against any boss or any map with co op boss challenge. New map editor props, paths, areas, and functionality, plus new, new quests, trophy store items quality of life improvements, and balance changes. Battle stations. Election event, 15 days. It does unlock, still. Bloons TD6 version 41 update notes. There is a lot of information to go over, and I'll try my best. The new awesome, new Paragon, the Nautic Siege Core. When it's above water, launches powerful, preemptive AoE missiles at every target up to spawn. When it's submerged, it does radiation aura that obliterates a huge number of smaller targets with ease. There's a new map called Silver Spring. It is going to be an intermediate map. Apocalypse mode now grants end of round cash. Shimps now has a retry last round option. It's essentially a home and reload option and it grants the red metal, not the black metal. This is a big one. Balance tower changes. They did a lot of changes, as you'll see. The dark monkey, the top path has been changed. It's like ceramic damages on the 3xx is got no longer. Boomerang monkey, they feel the top path is not worth it, um, and so they're giving a, a buff. And they're making the 3XX cheaper, they're having its price, and they're trying to make the 5XX a little bit better. Bounce distance is increased to max, the orbital range no longer deals bonus to fortified, and the orbital attack cooldown reduced from 0.1 to 0.08. The bomb shooter, I thought this was interesting, the uh, middle path, Moab Elim is going up 500. Attack Shooter, as you can see, has a bunch of updates to it. The top path in front of ring, right, Pierce increased from 30 to 45. And if you couple it to the middle path to make it bigger, it goes 45 to 60. The Super Maelstrom goes from damage type normal to shatter. The Glue Gunner, they feel the Glue Gunner, uh, the Bloom Liquifier is not a great save up into Bloom Solver. So they're trying to make the 4XX um, better by increasing the damage puddles from 1 to 2. And they have a different, a lot of price changes. I've noticed that most of them try to make the third path and fourth path maybe a little bit cheaper while increasing the top one. So you'll see the gloom storm is increased, um, but it's pretty much offset by the third and fourth um, updates. The XX5 super glue dot damage tick increased from 1 to 20. 205 from 1 to 21. 205 damage tick interval reduced from 2 to 1.8. They've tried to make the 205 path a lot better. Sniper Monkey. I found this one interesting. The Elite Defender price increased from 14.5 to 14.7. And they've reduced getting there by a couple hundred. So they moved the 3 4 boss to the fifth tier. Monkey Sub. 3xx submerged support submerged target priority is now a tower special. The 3xx price increased to 700. Plutonium reactor went down in price, and the ballistic missile also went down in price. The Buccaneer, the aircraft carrier has many problems in general. They're trying to fix that, so they have a bunch of updates for the aircraft carrier carrier flagship. Change up a bunch. Planes can now do very powerful homing. The mini planes can now set on things on fire on the 420. Carrier flagship mini darts projectile count from 1 to 2. They have the pierce. They changed it from sharp to sharp and fire. And they've reduced the function, the overall second path. Um, the Moab takedown for EBTs now requires camo cross path. The Pirate Lord. Um, grapes damage reduced from 10 to 8, ceramic damage reduced, melee damage reduced. Ace, the Sky Shredder price increased from 41.5 to 42.5. The 204 Pierce of Darts no longer gains 25%. The 
Doom Ship reached from 45 seconds to 50 seconds. Now gets Pursuit, will now interact with Patrol Points. Order Monkey, it got a bunch of updates. So the top path has a bunch of you know damage increased, price reduced, the damage type goes from normal to explosion, the pop and ah orders bad damage reduced and damage to bads reduced. So that's a huge hit and they've also increased the price of it. So damage to bads down and the cost went up. Darkling gunner, the you know they switched the price of it from one to the other and the spread on the rocket storm is going to be in a, a narrower cone. Dragon Breath is too good, so we're going to nerf it by having the cooldown increase from 0.2 to 0.13. Super Monkey, they're reducing the top path down, increasing the middle path, and reducing the middle path on the fourth tier. Ninja is going to have its effectiveness boost. Damage is going up, but the pierce is going down. The Alchemist, the 2xx acidic mystery drip, max stacks reduced from 40 to 30. The Druid, they're changing up the costs on the top path. They're nerfing carpet of spikes and middle tier again. Engineer XX4 Bloom Trap now divides the base value of absorbed wounds between all players when collected. Any extra multiplied values fully granted to the owner of the Bloom Trap. The Standler, reducing. Uh, the middle path from 70,000 to 60,000. The hero balances, Geraldo, it's now 7,000 to unlock. And they're increasing Jerry's fire from 500 to 600 and reducing the quit on the action figure. Corvus is going to get nerfed. They've reduced the damage of Ancestral Might and Overload basically in half of all levels. Well, here by 20%, here by 30%. Here's some things in the future. We have a new hero, not ready to reveal, but still in the first half of the year we're planning on a jet pack hero. Think mo multiple mobility upgrades, switching between two weapon types, more bouncy projectiles, because they are such fun and cool build synergies with other flying monkeys. We're looking at a new monkey tower. By Northern Hemisphere Midsummer. we're hoping to add an all new monkey tower to the game. New towers with all their cross paths and combinations with other towers make significant iteration. So we're, we've been working out with this concept for a non-military water unit for a long time. Every time we'd see fan art in this direction, we bite our tongues. But yes, from the depths of Monclantis. Sounds like it's going to be a magic type of uh, water tower. Anyhow, sounds like a lot to look into, look forward to. Good luck everyone.